to talk a bit more about current trends in orthopedics. We'd like to welcome Professor Francesco Falla. It's nice to have you here. Thank you very much for the invitation. How are you? Fine, thank you. I like uh, to be here. It's, uh, it's a very great pleasure to join this wonderful Congress. What are the current trends in orthopedics in your country? Uh, actually, Italy is a special country because uh, we are facing a significant increasing on the mean age of the population. Uh, what means that today we are actually the oldest country in, uh, in Europe. Uh, our uh, over 90 years of age are about 800,000 uh, people, which means that uh, we are significantly concentrated and dedicated to fragility fractures. Uh, this kind of population, we have a, about 25% of population is over 65 years of age, which means that uh, the osteoporosis and fragility fractures is significantly affecting our activity daily. And as a matter of fact, in our country, all the attention in the main hospital, public hospital is given to this kind of uh, you know, population. What does it mean in orthopedics? It means that we have to deal with a, a weak bone, with recurrent fractures, with periprosthetic fractures, and with bone where you cannot use uh, normal devices. And because of this, we're trying today to develop and uh, uh, use uh, all different devices that might increase stability, long-term uh, device in terms of uh, quality of life for the patients. And that's very important because, of course, uh, uh, everything runs about this kind of aspect and this problem. So have you noticed any difference in approach in other countries? Uh, a little bit, yes, because, uh, as I mentioned, uh, other European countries are much younger than we are. I, I don't want to sound like an old person, <laughs> but uh, actually our country is, getting, is facing this big social problem. So uh, today, there's not big difference among different countries. I mean, uh, we, we're by uh, internet, uh, orthobolus and uh, Vumedi, we are connected every day. 15, 20 years ago, to find a new technique, you had to take a plane, take a journey, a few days off you work. Today, you just go on the, on the net and you see everything. So it's not a big difference. It's just a matter of a social difference in terms of a budget, in terms of a capacity of organization, but not a big difference in terms of technologies. So have you found out some, about some new trends here at the DKOU? Uh, actually, it's my first time at DKU, and I will enjoy it. As, uh, I, there are many uh, significant and very interesting uh, uh, sessions. Uh, we have a uh, uh, we've been given by the DKU president's uh, uh, special part as a guest nation, as Italy has been uh, with Canada guest nation. So we are discussing a lot of uh, uh, total knee replacement, a lot of, a lot of uh, hip replacements. So uh, there are main sessions where being uh, very, especially trauma. And here in Germany, trauma is a, a significant part of the, of the activity. So I find that this is probably the most important part of this Congress. So with Italy having the oldest people in almost Europe, you have special treatments to do. So my question is, what developments in orthopedics do you expect from Italy in the future? Uh, I, might, I might make a joke, have a younger people, but is that not possible so, <laughs> to make our life easier? But actually what we'll face in the future is develop more and more devices and uh, uh, augments that will probably increase in terms of prevention the kind of uh, weak bone, osteoporotic bone that we're facing today. And uh, what we've seen, we're going to, of course, basing on uh, uh, registers uh, analysis, uh, we are trying to change our attitude, especially in terms of uh, uh, joint replacements. Uh, we are seeing today that uh, uh, cementless implants for the hip, they have a 30 percentage more a possibility to have a periprosthetic fractures, which means that we want to reduce this by changing our attitude and go more toward uh, cemented implants. So in order to reduce preventing this kind of fractures. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much to you.